All right, welcome back seedlings. It's been 30 episodes. So this is the first time I'm going to say I'm going to ask you if you've been watching this far if you can drop a like I'm not gonna ask you to subscribe because you know I'm here But if you want to subscribe go ahead, but if you want to drop a like that would be great if you want to drop a dislike I don't care because It counts as interaction and that's all that the algo rhythm cares about is interacting So a dislike is just as good as a like in case you didn't know it in case you were watching somebody's video And you're like I hate this video and you disliked it gave it a thumbs down as far as YouTube is con concerned, YouTube says, hey, this video is evoking strong feelings in people, so we're going to recommend it to even more people. Or if you want to leave a comment, that's fine as well. All right, so now we need to go to town. We're going to check on our flowers, see if we have any more poop. We fed them yesterday, so I'm guessing we're going to need more. All right, so our brownies are, all right, so we're going to gather some more apples and more pears. We need to check the calendar to see if there's anything going on today. We got 92 gold brass, which isn't much. We don't have any, we don't have any maters waiting to be picked. We're not going to do any mining today. Oh, look, we know how to get this now. Thanks to my genius, my multiple, my master's degree and my, all right, apparently not that good. Maybe we need to get a little bit closer. Thanks to my master's degree and my genius level intellect. Figured out how to hook things from far away. Sugar plum location one. Gnomes and fairies are never glum when they pick the sugar plum. Nice. Well, there's no locations there. I mean, we can't pick any sugar plums there. Got to keep the brownies happy. We'll give them a... Uh, what do we have a lot of? We got a lot of strawberries, that's for sure. Let's give them a gassy apple. Right, this is, we'll see what happens. We'll give them a gassy apple, see if that's going to upset them. Now we have two honey if we want to make some more stuff. Put our fishing pole away. We can head over to town now. we got to cultivate relationships in town and improve our skills. I think there was one skill that we could get pretty easy. We could get our cooking skills pretty easily. We could upgrade our cooking skill quite easily at the moment. We only just have to, all right, we can't, all right, we, and if we knew where our basil was, that's right, I was gonna see if our basil, we need to find a good place to get some basil. I thought we had some growing by our house because we did have some to use in a recipe earlier. I thought there was like a little patch on the side of our house. Maybe it's not growing there at the moment. All right, here, this is thyme. We've got thyme growing outside of our house. There was some pre-planted herbs, just like we had these tomatoes. So there's some thyme. So I need to make sure we pick those or else we're wasting time. <laughs> All right, oh, and look, we got a lot of berries. We got some double berries, thanks to the goddess's blessings. So let's make sure there's nothing else around here that's been pre-planted for us, other than all these beautiful, beautiful dandelions, which seem to be everywhere. All right, so we can get basil time just right around the home, which allows it. But anyway, like I was saying, we can donate those to, all right, so skills. All right, so we need four basil eight carrots eight cabbages to upgrade our gardening which means plants grow in less than one day and there is wheat and parsley and lettuce which will make us so that the brownies can never curse our fruit which seems like a good thing and this one simpleton stew we can make these things so we can work on getting these this will get us double stews, and this will get us double jams, which if we knew how to sell them, if we knew how to sell our soups and jams, because I'm not going to sell them for three each, especially when they're so valuable. I mean, look at our, our scent and charm, scent, charm, and stamina. We might be able to use that in... Contains actual squirrels, may also contain nuts. Now, farmer's stew is just... So it's got toughness. I wonder if we could have given that to her. I wonder if Lucy Arrows could have used some simpletons too to make her tougher. If we run into her again, perhaps we'll try and give it to her. She'll have the vapors the rest of the day. Now, I also found out. All right, so. 
can't use that just yet. So talk. How's it faring? What's happening? Just going for a lovely walk. How are you? I'm okay today. Thank you for asking. Oops, I want to give her a gift. Alright, let's give her a gift. We want to give her the this thing. Hopefully she doesn't hate us for it. Alright, so we got nine friendship points. That might actually be enough to my right, friendship rating is up. Look, we're in the three stars now. Did you hear the rhyme about the Bagane? Under bloodied moon by purple pools, the Bagane drinks the water's cool. Alright, so now we're better friends with her. We have item permission granted. Does that mean we can sleep in her bed now? No, but we can use her stove. Once it gets high enough, we can actually sleep in people's beds. I guess that giving her a piece of candy doesn't mean that she wants us sleeping in her bed yet. So Lucy Arrows is now a little bit better on our side. And so what we were going to do today, we were going to try and figure out if there was a way, or we were going to visit the Apothecarist. Where is the Apothecarist? Was their farm down here? I don't think their farm was down here. I don't know what she's got that smell about her for some reason. What can I sell at the Apothecarist stall? This belongs to someone else. No, I know. But I thought we could sell stuff there. Alright, what can we buy from him? Just more potions. And I thought we could use the Apothecarist's stuff. But we would have to... For five. All right, let's see if we can just just do it. All right, puppy perk, poppy perk up cures apathy. Be gone cures bee hair. Bravery, narcolepsy, and stench gives us bravery. Be hair, I guess that means beware. All right, cures apathy. Gives us illusion and sense. Cures body odor. Cures bubble bobble hat. Cures bucolic plague. Nobody has bucolic plague. Burnout cures burn cures constipation cures charmless we got lots of things we can make here cures curse trumpeting i have no idea what that means here's damp spirit cures food poisoning i think we've ran into people with food poisoning let's see if we can make it so we need something with anti-sickness which would be a blood few all right since we're just we need something with plus healing all right so we're something with plus healing Cuckoo do, but we only have one of those. So let's see. All right, so Cuckoo do is the only thing we're gonna be able to do. But we know where to get Cuckoo do. There's the place is literally named Cuckoo Place. All right, so now let's craft the powder. Let's right, see how this goes. All right, so we need to chop this stuff up again. All right, hold. Now we need to grind. There we go. Now it's ready to go in here. All right, now we need more chopping. All right, we can rotate like this. And we can hop up and down, and we can rotate. Pound. Hold the pestle down until no dust is visible. All right, so let's just grind it until there's no dust. All right, so the dust is gone. All right, now we pound until there's no dust, right? Hold the pestle down and rotate the grind until no dust is visible. All right, so now, all right, so there's no dust. Well, there's still some dust. All right, now what? There we go. And so we're putting that into the packet. Now we have abdomen, cures food poisoning. Four star, calculation, intelligence modifier. So this only, the only thing that helps this is items and intelligence. So the mini game is just pointless blather all right so that that's that so we've made that and now we can't sell it right nope we can't we have to get item permissions i guess in order to do it so now we've got one of those things we have an abdomen so if somebody gets sick in the tummy we don't have permission to take their stuff so we need to make need to make nice with these people so we can't sell our blueberry jam there I guess the best thing we can do is just wait for somebody to want blueberry jam unless she will just straight up buy from us here gift and task no we were going to see if we could use bigger stalls down there i'm going to go ahead and buy a candy squirrel 
check out the the notice board. Common monster parts required. He wants a wing. All right, and she wants sugar plums. We know where to get sugar plums from. Tiananog. Can we pick these strawberries? Strawberries galore, my friends. And if they're worth three each, I mean, that's not bad. It's just as far as time efficiency. All right, so I wanted to see if we could use a bigger... No, we can only use the little one. So is there... Maybe if we had... Maybe there's a higher skill or a higher trait that we could use. A higher, higher haggle or barter. Let's see. Is that the one that we normally use? No, it's up here. Does some people want to haggle? Shoppers may want to barter, so you try to hit the green area if they do. All right, so open the stand for four hours. Now, let's just sell off some strawberries. Now let's let's put a, a one-star strawberry up there. Now we can only sell it for one gold. So we're not going to do that. So a change item. We're going to sell our weakling strawberries. Well, what about a rainfish? Or what is this? Coin tail. What's something that we have a lot of other than we've got a lot of the charm weed. This makes me mad that we can't sell these for more money. But I guess that would make it a little bit too easy. But not like this isn't easy. All right, let's sell off a bunch of our... All right, set it for three. All right, see how many items of these we can sell. Nobody's asked to barter with us at all. This young lady wants... Um, I mean, it seems like everybody's willing to buy for three. All right, so like... I mean, it's like it makes it makes me feel like we're just charging too little. But I can't figure out how to charge any better. Change price. Why is that the max? <clears throat> Why is that the max price we can sell those for? It's ridiculous. <clears throat> but I guess, you know, three pieces of brass for one strawberry is a little high. Anyway, I'm ripping these people off. But I want to rip them off for more. Ten profit. We have enough, so we've got enough for. So we bought another candy thing. So I guess each one of these. I mean, we're getting one secret or one piece of gossip for each one of these, assuming that nobody is hates getting those gifts. We know some people like druid effigies, I guess. All right, so making friends, influencing people. That's what this game's all about. So we still got two minutes left. We're up to 19 profit. And and I, I mean, I really shouldn't be complaining too much. This is more gold than we've made in the dungeon. Of course, we were only in the top floor of the dungeon. All right, so come on. Come buy these fine strawberries, people. They don't grow on trees, you know. They grow on bushes. And so once we sell these, we're going to run over to the blacksmiths and see if we can get some, if we can do something with our copper ore and our, with the different ores we had. And we know we can sell them and we can sell them for more than five. I don't know. I'm just complaining. I'm sorry. I'm just complaining. I shouldn't be complaining. It's Christmas Eve at the moment. I'm still snowed. I'm not really snowed in. The sun's going to be out today. The sun... And uh, it's going to get up to 17 degrees today. So I'm going to try and get to Panda Express and get me some food. I do like Panda Express. I'm just in, really in the mood for it today. All right, so we're up to 26. Pretty good profit. And it costs five just to make an item. So food is only three. So we know that. And that's the only thing we could sell here was food, right? We couldn't sell swords or apothecary stuff. I mean, is there any place to sell the apothecary stuff? So we just basically got to sell enough strawberries. We basically got to sell 166 strawberries until we have enough money to buy a business, right? Shall we focus on businesses or 
business or pleasure first? Should we worry about getting a business or worry about getting a companion for our life? We have a dog and a pig. I guess a wife would be all right. All right, so now we've got 117. Let's go see if we can get to the um, blacksmith. See if we can get up there and use the blacksmith real quick. I don't know what she wants, but I'm sure we can find out. Anything new here? Nothing here. This is the apothecarists. So the blacksmith was just over there. Okay, it's in the center of town. We don't have permission to pick their apples. Can we still use this even though the store is closed? Yes, we can. All right, let's try it. So we're gonna waste some, so we're gonna make a sword. Can we make a sword using, all right, so we've got aluminum ore and we've got tin ore. Tin is what we used before. Co a copper sword would be ridiculous. All right, so let's use a, let's use that. Okay, so let's craft this, let's craft this puppy and see how it goes. All right, so this is the easy part, just heating this stuff up. There that goes. All right, so now we just need to hit that one green mark there as best as we can. Just a little bit off. So we still got plus 10 durability. This part's not hard and kind of, well, I mean, I could say fun, but it's better than, oi, we got one oi on there. So we're only getting a 32. All right, so now we just need to drop this in here. To, looks like the, oh, I think the gauges are smaller since we're using a higher quality ore, but I could be wrong. Let's see. Was it counting? Seems like we can only do one at a time, maybe. All right, so we got just right, so we got plus eighty-one. That's pretty good, right? All right, so we have this star. We have the new sword, and it's a three-star sword. So is that going to be um better? Is it going to be a better thing to use? And it costs five to make another. I'm not going to try to make another sword. Let's try making another shovel we can let's make an iron shovel all right let's make an iron shovel this part's easy all we gotta do is this i don't think we have to sharpen our shovel i mean i guess a sharp shovel would be helpful but all right we got it in the green that time i think we were one pixel just one pixel exactly where we needed to be we're getting a lot of goods this time. We got plus 30 for durability. I don't even know if durability even means anything. Got green there. We're gonna have a fairly durable shovel. Three star shovel, not too bad, not too shabby. So do we wanna make anything else at the moment? A copper decorative. How about let's make a copper decorative and see what this looks like. What did we make it out of before? Did we make it out of, I think we made it out of 10 before. I don't even know what this decorative is used for. Can we use it as a gift? Somebody wants to have a metal. Somebody out there is vain and wants to have a metal. I think we were in the... Alright, so... Bam. Why are they white? I thought they were normally orange. Maybe I'm just crazy. One hit left. Got perfect on that. Alright, plus 50 on the durability. So now we just gotta cool it off. Smash right in the middle of it. So it's gonna be durability max. You know it's good because max is in all capitals. They're screaming at us. Still got three stars, probably because of the ingredient quality. Can we sell this stuff in the middle of the day? <laughs> all right, so we can sell these. It doesn't tell us how much we can sell it for. I don't know if I wanna sell our, I mean, it just says we can sell it. It doesn't tell us how much we can sell it for. We have an iron sword. Give it a bash. Strong versus hags and remnants. Strong versus hobs, knobs, and lobs. So maybe we need different swords. Maybe we don't. Maybe we don't want to sell it. Maybe we want to keep it. And where has the time gone, my friends? What does Toby Jug want? Nice to see you. What's happening? I wonder what the traveling trader's boar eats. It must go through food like a er, massive pig. I thought he had something. Oh, he was standing on top of somebody. Okay, talk to Melanie Jug. Great to see you. What's happening? 
What are you buying? What are you selling? Well, I'm buying a nymph wing if you're selling, at least gifting if that's the mechanic we are bound to for this interaction. Alright, so we we don't have a one of those yet, do we? No, we do we do have a nymph wing. What do you know? Just what was required. Cheers. So that's five for that. Five rep. Alright, we can let's give her I mean a Melanie jug. Sounds like she's got nice ankles. Then I give that to her. So we got nine points for that. So we should get this will do, I suppose. At least we know she doesn't hate it. I heard Edna Teapot doesn't really really doesn't like hokey hokey. Okay. Good to know. So now we have ooh. Is it uh oh. What day is it? Okay, we gotta get to a goddess statue quickly. Where are we? Is there one in this location? There's a goddess statue over there. Okay, I didn't realize what day it was. Let's get over there. Where's it at? There it is. Hopefully we've made it in time. Alright. Offerings. We've already made these offerings. What am I worried about? Okay, I don't know what the problem is. Okay, so we're good. So let's just head on home. Well, let's go over here and see if we can get this thing. It's only been 21 minutes. I know you don't want to leave me so soon. Let's see if we can use well, our fishing pole. Won't reach there. Nope, so let's try doing it from the other side. I wonder if there's other things we could have gotten with our fishing pole that we've just ignored. Go up here. So... There we go. Look at that. I'm a master fisherman. Lettuce location one. In the garden of metal fields, lettuce grows in great big yields. And so these are just telling us where we can find these things. If we want lettuce, we'll go to metal fields. So now it is past midnight, right? Do we have to make new offerings? No, we're good on offerings. I don't know what she was going on. I don't know what she was going on about. Things are fine. Now we can head home. See if we run into any trouble on the way home. Is that poop? No, we got some free eggs. See, we could have just hopped into, we could have just tossed an apple and flew home or used the goddess's grace to get us home, but we didn't. We decided to walk, get a little bit of exercise. And I did find out that as an adult, and I am an adult in the game anyway, I am an adult in the game. That means we can stay out as late as we want. The only, really, the only reason we need to use the beds anymore as adults is to um, save the game. We can stay up as late as we want. Do we need to appease the brownies at the moment? Don't want to be cursed by the brownies. We'll give them a strawberry. Two star strawberries. The brownies are appeased, so we shouldn't be cursed. So now that's the end of another day. Now tomorrow, and we've got quite a bit of money, so I think tomorrow is going to be a day of distributing gifts since it is Christmas. I'm gonna spend quite a bit of money. Well, maybe not quite a bit of money. Let's say ten. We'll so twenty. We'll spend twenty just tossing gifts at people in town to see if we can learn some secrets that'll help us out. Then we can pick some more strawberries, maybe some more basil, and see how things go. So once again, thank you for being here in this lovely game, and I will see you tomorrow.